My name is Jack Foley. I'm the producer, director, and writer of Mr. Jim. Eddie James. I am the actor, producer, and director of Metal Ark. So we're just going to be really quick about uh, one question each. Can we start off with limit? Uh, was limit here? No. Okay, maybe wrong list. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we'll, yeah, we'll just go from the very beginning. Okay, so just really quick question. What was your inspiration for the film? And do you see yourself uh, having similar film, films of this nature in the future? Um, around two years ago, I got a supporting role in a film called The Birth of a Nation, playing a white heterosexual Christian plantation owner in 1831. Yes, it could happen. <laughs> and um, uh, I'm an only gay man. I wanted to do a film about forgiveness. And I had uh, done a reading of this film, The Writer's Guild, and it just seemed like a great film. It was more like a short little play, but, and then I uh, added the beginning and the ending to it. And uh, we rewrote it and made it more filmatic and uh, started putting it in festivals. And today, it's being released on uh, uh, Deco, which is a uh, on-screen platform. So um, it's sort of a nice day to have, have our last film festival and also be so the inspiration for Pandora was there's not enough female superheroes out there. <laughs>
wrote the screenplay and gave backstory to all the other um, people in the film. But it's really based on a true story. So that's how I got the inspiration for it. I was inspired by this because, or for to make this film, because I love, first of all, Stephen Schwartz, who is the composer and lyricist of this music, and you're inspired by his passion to tell stories that he tells so beautifully. Um, I wanted to make a little operetta, I wanted to make a musical film, and I also wanted to tell the story about a man, or about men, actually, and in this case, about one particular man who travels from courage and through tenderness. Because I feel that in our society today, often men have to act a certain way. They have to be strong, they have to be, or whatever our society is dictating to them. But I want to tell a story about a man and how he can be courageous and still tender and still kind. And I wanted to do that through the four archetypes. I wanted to do that through his inner king, his inner magician, his inner lover, and his, his inner warrior. And that's how, how it all came together for me. Let's tell that story through all of that. Thank you. So I had the inspiration through Eddie because Eddie came to me and told me his idea. And then I told him, he trusted me, and I told him what he needed to do to get the stuff for me, the files and things and the various things that were necessary for all of that, um, all of those images. Uh, and um, and then I tried to put it together. I never did any animation before, and, uh, and that's just like effects that we put on things that he was able to get, and um, they came together. So that's how it came to be. The story of our Rose Garden, uh, we were inspired to do it based in through, uh, through stories, through events, both the stories, but also because we really feel the need for the stories where is love is not only when it's easy to love and it's kind of romantic emotion, but also when it's difficult to love, when you don't feel to love, but you decide to love and give the other person an opportunity to change. Well, I'm just part of the movie. I didn't do anything like that, but I'm inspired by everyone. They work very hard. Um, when we started this movie, it was very hard uh, because we show up at this location and the, the person who was in charge never show up. And the next, you know, it has to was funny. And then we show up the next time and it was very, very hard for us because it was, the location, it was super, super, super hard. It was hot, extremely hot. I think it was over 100. And but everybody was there. Some people didn't show up, but whoever was there, they were very, very motivated. And this has been one well, of my hardest scene that I have done. It was very, this is very hard. And it's very nice to see them like very emotional and like, positive to do something <laughs> in their life. Thank you all so much for the thought-provoking answers. Uh, if any of you all were touched by these films, uh, feel free to talk to them after. Um, I, I strongly <coughs> believe that we're all here for a reason. Um, so if you have a testimony that you would like to share with them, or vice versa, by all means. Uh, so we have a red carpet in the outside. If you would like to take pictures uh, with these uh, amazing individuals on stage, um, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much. <laughs>